this won't be a controversial video at all. Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video we're going to be talking about The Road by Cormac McCarthy. And uh, bef before anybody gets angry here, so this is this is going to be kind of like half review, half uh, half discussion because reading this, I, I had a lot of thoughts, and some about the the book in itself and what's happening there, but others just about the reception of it. And so I kind of want to do both. Uh, but I did I did overall enjoy this book. I liked it as much as you can with the subject material. I suppose enjoy always feels like the wrong world because it's a it's it's a pretty dark book. Um, but I did enjoy it, but I also think it, it opens up a lot for discussion. So let's jump in and talk about it. So The Road is a post-apocalyptic novel uh, where a man and his son, his younger son, are just traveling and they're going down the road in this wasteland and come across things and it's, it's a really dark world. Uh, there's just, there's bands of people, there's cannibals, there's just stuff destroyed it's really difficult to find food you can't really trust anybody finding shelter food all these kinds of things are very difficult and they just are kind of still going uh and that's kind of the base story there's a lot of uh subtlety here uh with it as well and there's a lot of things that are talked about in some of the deeper themes that i think do come across really well in the abstract sort of way that this is written um but also it's it's a very simple story and uh, that's kind of where it branches into, I think, the, the interesting conversation is because this is a pretty simple story. Though there is a lot of depth to it, and uh, it, it is more complex than what it faces, than what it shows at face value, for sure, uh, with, with how it's exploring these characters and what's happening, where sometimes things aren't quite the way they seem, or you can, you know, see through the subtext what's really going on with the main character uh and uh kind of where they are at and as you you learn more about what's happened but it's still it's a fairly simple story it's it's, it's short it's it's similar to the point and uh the writing style i especially find interesting as well because there is almost no punctuation here uh, like none of the dialogue has quotation marks there's there's not there's not a lot of anything here and it makes it kind of odd to read there are no chapters uh, it's just all one one long thing. Like I said, it's a, sh it's a shorter book, but it all just goes. Uh, and so there's a, a lot of things like that that you, you don't get quite normal. So it's interesting to me uh, that, that this book is looked at as like a literary masterpiece. You know, it, it won the Pulitzer. It, it's looked at as this huge thing. And it's interesting to me, uh, especially because people try to kind of lump it into sci-fi just because it's post-apocalyptic, even though there's really no sci-fi elements in it. It's more speculative fiction. Um, but it, it, it's interesting to me what, because with just being, you know, a big fan of fantasy and fantasy and sci-fi both, I feel like have gotten in where it's looked at as lesser and it's not looked at as serious literature and, and those types of things. And so it's interesting to me that a book like this that is is short, you know, has some deeper themes, but is still, you know, just a, a fairly simple tale and is written in a non-standard way and, and how this is looked at as just this masterpiece where I've read a lot of stuff in the fantasy space that uh, has a lot more to it, is much more complex, is doing a lot more, is, you know, written in a more normal way or even like a, you know, a fancier way. And so why is it, uh, why is it that, that, this book is looked at so differently because it's because it's just it's a well-known author uh is it because it's unique and that's that scene is more literary because i mean you've seen that in fantasy as well too with uh you know the whole thing with uh mk jemison and the uh with the broken earth trilogy that uh people just said was amazing because it used uh, a weird thing with the tense uh that didn't really serve much of a purpose. Uh, I, I feel like it's it's sometimes those things uh, when you when you do something weird, it seems more literary than just being straightforward. So I do wonder if that has something to do with it. And I've not read uh, any other Cormac McCarthy at this point, so I don't know if that's his normal style or not. If he normally does that, or if there's anything different in this book. And I also don't really have the answers for this. This is more just me kind of thinking out loud about it because I do I do find it interesting just thinking about the the fact that this book is is put in such a high level and uh considered to be this this just amazing amazing thing where i'm just like i'm reading it and i'm like i don't i didn't dislike it but 
it's not like this is going to be, oh my gosh, I, say, I love this, this is amazing. It's, uh, it wasn't offering a, a ton of, of anything that felt particularly new uh, or, or unique. It was just, it was a story and it was a well-told story, albeit with kind of an odd style. Uh, it was deeply character focused and, you know, it was dark and uh, you're seeing quite a lot going on there. So it's, it's a well-written book. It's, it's good. And uh, I, I did find myself engaged and invested in it, uh, especially with it being, it being very short too. It, it, you know, it holds your attention very well uh, for the time, but I, I, I find it interesting, like I said, because I just, uh, I wonder, and so for people who have read both, you read The Road and or like you, you read fantasy, sci-fi fantasy, I know there are definitely some, but uh, I, I'd, be, I'd be interested to see what your thoughts are uh, on that because um, I, I, would, I would definitely read more of his stuff and I'd be curious to, uh, but I also just, it, it, that I couldn't help but thinking about it is like, what, uh, what really sets this apart? Maybe, maybe you just think I'm, you know, I'm missing something or I'm not getting it all. Like I said, there, I, I do fully admit that despite it being pretty, uh, straightforward and simple, uh, there is, there is more depth and complexity there as well. Uh, and there's, there's more than meets the eye and you can read it at surface level. And I feel like, you know, still be, it'll be a fine story, but it, it is one, if you're really looking beneath the surface, there's definitely more there. And so that's something I appreciate, but that's also something I really appreciate in my fantasy books as well. And, you know, I've read a lot that are like that, um, different style usually, but I uh, like that as well. So I'm just, I'm just curious, like I said, so that's where, like I said, this is part of you talking about it, uh, and, and part of that discussion, uh, cause I, I think it is interesting. Um, as far as going back to talking about the actual book, um, it is, uh, also, which I, I feel like is part of the effect. It is very abrupt, um, where we just kind of, we're, we're going from one thing to the next. This is happening. Uh, it, it has this kind of stream of consciousness kind of feeling from what's, what's happening there, which I feel like is, is kind of intentional here as well but it, it's it's interesting and it's odd and it's one of those things that normally I feel like if it was a much longer book I feel like it, some of it might have started to drag or like I might have had issues with but so I think for what it's trying to do it does really well though in the length and I think the length uh helps make sure that it doesn't go on too long with making you feel like okay this is getting odd uh it is it is a it has some some heartbreaking moments for sure and and with seeing the the character and, and what they're going through and the relationship with uh, their son and what's what's going on there as well in this terrible, you know, post-apocalyptic place. Uh, so there's, like I said, it, it, interesting and uh, it, unique in its style, but uh, also just I, I felt like I, I would have liked, um, I would have liked a little bit more, I feel like, at the same time as well. And so that's where I kind of was, it was in the middle on this one. I, I, I liked it. I think it was good, but for me, it didn't, it didn't go up to do great. And so that's where I, I had some of those conflicting feelings. Uh, overall though, those are my thoughts on the road by Cormac McCarthy. Uh, very, very curious. Like I said, to you, to hear thoughts, whether you agree or disagree with me, uh, very curious, uh, with, with either the book or some of the things I talked about as well, uh, to, to hear your thoughts on that. Cause I think there's, there's a lot of great discussion that can be had there. So definitely let me know in the comments, make sure to give the video a like, if you enjoyed it, check the link in the description as always for the Wizard of the Odd Play Discord. If you want to chat books, whether this book, other books, really anything at all, it's a lot of fun. We'd love to have you. And of course, if you enjoy my content, make sure to subscribe. Hey.